Hey everyone, welcome back to Coaching Changes Lives. My name is Janai. I'm very excited to share with you a demystification of one of the common myths of coaching. And that is, coaching is all about questions. That is absolutely wrong. Coaching, it's not about questions. Too often, many people think that coaching, oh, it's that thing I learned it before. Oh, it's that thing, you know, I had attended a workshop before. In fact, many places, they do not teach what really coaching is about. Coaching is not about questions. Whenever you see people saying, oh, the best questions or the most powerful questions, know this. They do not understand what coaching really is. Coaching is not about questions. Questions are one of the many things that we do in the coaching process. It's not questions. You see, the power of coaching is not in the question in itself. The power of coaching happens in this co-creative space with you and a client, in this coaching moment. And sometimes, the best thing we do in the, in the coaching process is not to say anything at all. Sometimes, the best thing that happens is even our non-verbal gestures. You see, what's happening in that space, it's a communication that's happening between us as a coach and the client, and between the client and themselves. Because right at that moment, the client's having a conversation within themselves as well. So you find that there's a lot of different multi-layer of communication that's happening at the moment. So how is it that we think that coaching is just about questions? It's not quite. So if you hear that, I want you to just throw that away, okay? And tell people, hey, coaching is not about questions. Coaching is about changing lives. Coaching, it's not about questions. Coaching is about changing lives. Now, what do we mean by that? You see, coaching, it's a conversational process. A masterful coach is someone who has mastery in conversation. Now, when we say mastery, we didn't say mastered conversation. Mastering conversation means this, that this conversation and communication style is an ongoing developmental process. And it's in this process that we go deeper, we understand the world a little bit better, and we now know and we get, gain a deeper appreciation of what it means to be a coach. And that's the beauty of coaching. The beauty of coaching, it's not about doing more and more and more. The beauty of coaching, it's about allowing us that space to hold that space to go in deeper. So you may ask, okay, so if we don't use questions, what else do we use? Well, there's a series of tools. In the coaching process, you're using the listening skills, listening attentively to the client, not just to what is said, to also what is not said, to the words of the client, to the emotions of the client, to the client's aspirations, even to the client's non-verbal cues. You're watching the client's facial expression, their body, their posture, their intonation, how they're pausing, how they're phrasing. Are they speaking a little bit faster? Is the tempo going fast? Is the cadence going fast? Or how are they nuancing certain things? What choice of words they use? What repeated phrases are you noticing? And do you notice the client's gifts within? Just this portion of listening has so many different layers. Beyond the listening process, it's the inquiry. It's the reflection, it's the paraphrasing, it's the summar summarization, it's the co-creation that's happening in the moment. It's using even that space of silence, the powerful notion of silence in that moment, even presence as well. And not just questions, but questioning. Too often, many coaches look for the most powerful question. They buy books on 10 best questions or they download articles on 100 best questions to ask, 100 most popular, 100 most powerful questions, only to realize that, hey, you know what? It's confusing the client. In fact, there was one time, you know, a coach came to me and said, oh, Jada, I tried to use this powerful question. Who are you being in the moment? And no wonder the client is lost. What, what do you mean, who, who am I being in the moment? You see, when questions are taken out of its context, out of its moment, that question becomes ineffective. That question becomes a no question because it's not helping the client. If you truly want to make a change, you have to realize that it's not about the question. It's about the questioning. And the questioning comes from a place of listening. And listening comes from a place of presence being present in the moment. And the presence in the moment, it's all about building that safety and trust in that moment in context with the client. Coaching is a very delicate process. It's two human beings coming together, holding that space, moving together, trusting each other to create something truly magical. And that's why we truly believe that coaching truly changes lives. So if you are a beginning coach or if you are already an experienced coach going through ACC, PCC or MCC credentialing, I want you to know this. When you think about questions, I want you to start thinking not about the questions. The questions are byproduct of something. And what is that something? How am I listening today? How am I understanding today? Am I listening to understand? Am I listening to answer? Am I listening to analyze? Am I listening to solve? How I'm listening 
will influence how I'm asking. And how I'm asking will influence the response I get from the client. Ask simple questions. Do not ask bombastic questions or sophisticated questions or questions that just draw the client into a space of the unknown. Right? Many coaches are fall into this trap, especially for master MCC level coaches or master certified coaches, because they reach a certain place of mastery, they think that they know it, and end up what happens is that they tend to use very difficult questions or they use questions that normal average human beings do not use. And people may say, oh, those are very interesting questions. But you see, interesting questions when asked in the wrong context, in the wrong moment, produces zero outcome. Go to a man on the street and you ask them a question, a typical coaching question such as, who are you becoming? That person will think that you're strange and weird. It's not about asking those questions. It's about listening first. And then in that moment, how you deliver the question, how you inquire, how you reflect, how you hold that space truly makes a change. So I hope this inspires you to demystify this one myth about coaching is about questions. Coaching is not about questions. Coaching, it's about changing lives. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, share this with your friend, tag someone here, and I hope to see you in one of our classes really soon.